it's easy for you guys probably wherever you come from because you're better than everyone else. But there's going to become a stage where you're, you know, you're the same as everyone else or not as good as everyone else. And to get past that, you got to push yourself. And so sometimes I think guys don't realize, they think, yeah, I'm working hard, I'm spending time in the gym, but are you really pushing yourself? Are you hurting yourself every day to get better? When Steve Nash and a staff of top-notch instructors put the country's best young PGs to the test, we captured all the drills, skills, and talent on display. I do different things. I'm not just one guy who just do a certain thing. You know, I play defense, you know, I can handle the ball. I'm like a pass first point guard, strong, fast, athletic. I'm the point guard, so, you know, that, that's just my job to get my team involved and, you know, things like that. When I get out of here, it's like, it's just another person in front of me. So, just in my way. I'd be joking around, talking about, you know, I'm all this and all that, but, you know, I just like to play basketball. There's always going to be good players and everything, so I enjoy the competition. And I am a competitor, so it's just like, I just want to get out here and play. And that's what they did, hitting the court for a tough lesson in the fundamentals of the point guard position. What we see today is that players may be concentrating on uh, some of the fluff and the excitement of the game, rather than what leads these great players to that part of the game. Passing. <laughs> That's it. Passing. I'm, stop trying to get mine. Get somebody else on. That's what I say. Pass the ball. Any repetition, then your side becomes the passer, and they become the guy. So this line is heavy, executive, and right? We've been doing these things called uh, the Nash series, and it's like a bunch of one-handed passes. Definitely, we're just working on our offhand a lot uh, in all the drills that we're doing. So, just trying to build the strength in our offhand. So, it's really good. Too many young players get good at a particular skill, and then they just stay with that skill, and they uh, they work on the things they do well, as opposed to working on things that they can improve on. If you're a righty. You ought to make your left hand just as good as your right hand, whether it's dribbling, passing, or even shooting, to improve areas of your game that could, uh, uh, that you know, that, that need some work, and uh, you become a more dangerous player when you work on those weaknesses. Create a practice environment that's actually tougher than the game. Whether it means making 10 free throws in a row before you leave the gym, or working on your left hand, shooting a left-handed hook, uh, dribbling with your left hand, your weak hand. I think those things are really important to the development of a good young player. The two-time MVP was quick to jump in and share his veteran wisdom with tomorrow's young generals. And when Steve Nash talks, point guards listen. Well, I've uh, played a lot more basketball than all these guys, so you know, really all I try to do is, is offer them you know, the, the lessons and experience I've learned. So I watch them and, and notice uh, you know, they're just learning lessons I've already learned. So if I can jump in and kind of help them uh, learn something quicker or give them a new way to think about it where they can adapt easier, you know, that's, that's really what I'm trying to do is just kind of give them a little bit of the experience I've had.
shooting, but shooting perfect form jump shots is important for all young guys. The great shooters in the game shoot game shots from game spots at game speed every time they work out. There are three phrases or terms that are used with today's players that, that these players have to understand. Uh, the first one is hard work. Well, hard work is the price of admission. If you don't work hard, you don't get on the floor. It's that simple because everyone works hard. So that won't separate you. That'll get you in the game, okay, in the door. Then competitiveness. Most of them are competitive if they start to separate themselves from the rest of the group. And that's the, that's the, the, the inside determination and desire to win anything you're involved in. But where the elite, the Steve Nashes, they're in an elite group and that group's called committed. And that's a word that people talk about but they don't understand. If we can get these guys to start to think about what it takes to get into that elite group of the committed athlete, then you're talking about maybe one of them is, someone's the next Steve Nash. We don't know who. In the end, Steve said it best. I kept every day trying to get a little bit better. And before you know it, you've taken this big jump. And you went from being whatever, the best player on your high school team, the best player in your state, the best team player in the country, to, you know, first round draft pick. And so don't stop thinking in terms of, I gotta do the little things every single day because I'm trying to get here, you know? Don't think of it short term. You gotta be in the moment and work every day, but it's because you're trying to keep getting better, keep getting better. You never have arrived. You know, I still feel like I got improving to do. I still feel like I can play better and I can, you know, add more to my game and to my team.